Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't, I didn't see you there. Gosh, man. I, I'm sorry. I was just watching one of the best movies, if not the best movie made in 1986. Wow. What do you fucking think it was? Top Gun. Top Gun, oh my gosh. But, of course, you know, with every great movie, back then anyways, every great movie has to be a Nintendo game. And you're not wrong. There is a Nintendo game of Top Gun. And, well, I'll just, you know what, I'll just show you. Let's just say, I hope you're thinking about this Nintendo Top Gun. Because, well, if you're thinking about any other Top Gun, like Combat Zones, for example, go away. Well, the movie was great, so the video game has to be great, right? I mean, there's only one way to find out. Come on, let's try it. Well, let's just say we're off to a good start. The music is actually decent. Like, that was not the actual theme song playing. That was coming from this Nintendo. That is really good sounding for a Nintendo. I mean, it's better than Tetris 2 for sure. But hey, we're not talking about Tetris 2. We're talking about Top Gun. It's made by Konami. It's gonna be good. It's made by Konami! Well, if you think that, you're completely... It depends. Okay, we're gonna go shoot some... Terrorist. That was a joke. Uh, well, yeah, we gotta pick the big ones. The bigger, the better. <laughs> they, the missiles, they do the exact same thing. And they're different sizes. But, okay, let's go. So pretty much, there's two shades of blue. Well, for now, there's that pretty pale. But once we get to the altitude, oh, well, there's white and there's light blue. These are, uh, A is your gun. You're supposed to shoot the bad guys. Kind of like how the real Air Force worked, right? And then B is your missiles, your homing missiles. So if you, if you suck at aiming, like a, if you shoot like a stormtrooper, you can shoot your missiles. And you'll probably hit them. So yeah, overall, it's kind of a... It's actually a pretty cool flight simulator, in my opinion. Pretty cool flight simulator, in my opinion. You go and zoom in, of course, and then... Oh, shite! It's some bad guys! Got him, I think. Oh yeah, they shoot missiles back at you. No way! We gotta land the airplane now! We got this! We got this! We got this! We got this! Speed down, speed down, okay, okay. Um, how do I slow my speed down? Not like that. I like this. Like this. List. Speed down. Speed down. Sorry. 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 Speed down. Speed down. Speed down. Okay. Okay. Left. Right. Speed up. Left. Right. Up. Up. I'm going up. Oh. Oh, well, I might gotta slow down. Go, left, right, right, left. Oh my god. Uh, speed down. Oh, 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 oh! Ah! Uh, I swear it's impossible to land that fucking plane. Watch this.
Okay, altitude needs to go down. But so does the speed. I need to go up. But I need to go. But I need to slow down. Get my speed down to where it should be. Okay. And get my altitude up. Slow down. Speed up. Slow down. Speed up. Slow down. Speed up. And get higher. Ready to slow down. Ready to go higher now. And there you go. It honestly isn't that hard. Instead of listening to what it's telling you to do, just pretty much just uh, see what the gauges are, what you need, and then try to get it as close as possible to your speed and your altitude. It honestly isn't that hard.